Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shen Ren, today we are playing Sweden in your open Universalis 4. We are in a war with the Holy Roman Emperor, Austria, one of the Holy Roman little derpskis, Carinthia, Serbia, and Spain. And Austria's two teensy-weensy little vassals, including that one, first Furstenberg, which just fell like a stone. Yep, Furstenberg has fallen. You heard it here first, folks. And here, let's continue on. Uh, somebody in the stream has pointed out very correctly that Spain definitely did colonize over here. So let me grab one little moron and let's go steal that colony. Stealing colonies is very ethical. No, Austria, I'm not interested, yo. Not interested. Serbia, not interested. Yeah, how many dudes is that? 16? That's fine. That's fine. Now it's going Ukraine. Oh, he's loving it. Ukraine is having the time of his life. It's like, are you going to annex us yet? Are you going to annex us yet? Are, are, are you going to annex? Yes, I will, because I now have a new Russian vassal. And we are one province away, from, well, no, two provinces away from completely sieging out Serbia. Lovely. Lovely. Why don't we work on relationships a little bit? Portugal? Oh, yeah, Portugal needs some serious hugs. Hey, Portugal. Here you go. Hugs. Hugs. He has no heir? Oh, of course not. It's a freaking republic. That's so weird seeing Portugal as a republic. I mean, I guess. Whatever. France. Loves us. No aggressive expansion penalties. Loves us. Not rivaled. Loves us. Allied to the same two allies we have. Hungary and Portugal. But he's hostile. This makes no sense, France. It makes a no sense. You make a no sense, France. There goes the last uh, province in the Balkans that Serbia has. Now we just have to wait for Serbia to peace out for Salento here, which they probably will cede to Trinacria. Uh, nope, maybe not. Trinacria is not the war leader. No, they are not. And Serbia is not the war leader, so this is probably just going to remain available for me to take. Yay! I want to give it to my vassal. It shall be glorious. Oh, wow. Spain's got 38,000 motherfuckers over there. Wow. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on. Please. Please. There we go. Steal that shit. Yeah. Uh, Corinthia wants peace. Let me go see what Corinthia wants. I think we have them sieged out, don't we? Uh, no, we don't. We're missing Gores. Okay, well, what can we do with Corinthia? They're too big to vassalize. That's really unfortunate. They are just barely too big to vassalize. I don't want them, I don't want them to give anything away to Bavaria, that's for sure. I want you to get rid of your alliances with... I don't know. Give me your trade power. I like that. Get rid of all of your alliances. How's that sound? Ah, oh, he won't. Well, I'll just wait until we're done sieging, because we're at 42% on your last province. Then we'll demand that you give us everything. And the kitchen sink. And a hot plate! Oh, you look at that. New colony. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. And there goes Miami. Let's move on to Wyandotte. If I could piece you out, I would take those two, and that's it. That would piss off the Iroquois, Spain, and no one else would give a crap. Oh, that's amazing. But we have to get to 10% war score for that to happen before we can make any demands at all. So... 
That's going to require invading mainland Spain. We're going to need access through France, who hates us, so it ain't going to happen. I'm sorry. They don't hate us. They love us, but they're hostile, so they won't give us access. Uh, and I'm not sure our ships would survive floating over there. Uh, well, maybe. I just don't know. Byzantium is over here blockading them, so maybe? But then again, Serbia is over here blockading me. You know what? Let's see if we can't kill Serbia. Go, little cogs. I have 22 mighty cogs. They're all... Oh, two flights. I have 20 mighty cogs and two flights. Let's see if we can take out uh, Serbia's navy here. Do you hit? He has no admiral. I should... Oh, no, I'm not going to get an admiral. That'd be so derpy. <laughs> get an admiral for a fleet of cogs. Nope. Go, my mighty cogs. Go. Come on, cogs. You can do it. Yes, you're doing it. You're doing it, cogs. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're so going to win this shit. Uh-oh, we're taking damage. Pull the Freitja back. Pull the Freitja back. No, he's at 73% health. Pull back, Freitja. Conservative backlash? Whatever. Pull back, Freitja. Ooh, lucky we won. Hey, we stole a galley. Nice. Uh, well. Go over here and heal up in Bessarabia. You guys can split in half. Give me half of you, and we'll put you on the boats. We'll go to Spain. We'll go invade Spain, because... Spain will have no no army over here, so we can just drop some troops off and siege shit up. As soon as they peace out, we can siege shit up, right? Uh, otherwise, we could invade uh, the island down here, but Trinacria is already there, so I don't know. We're not going to get much points by invading their colonies, right? That's kind of a problem. Problem? Problem? Excuse me, ma'am. Is there a problem? Um, no. Ma'am! Ma'am, is there a problem? No, no, there, there's no problem. No, no peace for you. No peace for you. Uh, go to Oisprusen. Alternatively, we could just demand them from the peace, I mean, the war leader, Serbia. I'm not sure if I want to do that, though. Because that might change who it pisses off, right? It's supposed to only piss off Spain and the Iroquois, but no one cares about the Iroquois. But if we demand it from someone other than Spain, it may piss off lots of other people. Who knows? Who even knows, man? Nobody knows these things. Corinthia. This shit still hasn't fallen in Corinthia. Come on, we got 18,000 motherfuckers here in Corinthia. We got two bonus points from cannons, and we're still not getting this shit. All right, 100% on Austria. Yeah? Okay, 100% on Austria. So we're going to... Well, we couldn't revoke the Imperial Reform. Uh, we can't dismantle the HRE because all the electors have to be vassalized. And, well... Guess what? We haven't vassalized all the electors. So we can't dismantle the HRE, but we can make them get rid of the latest reform, which is pretty much the best we can hope for. So do that. There goes your imperial reform, but he still has... Oh no, he didn't. He lost all of his uh, 59 imperial authority. Good! That means he can't just demand the thing again. So we'll have to go to war with him again and again and again and keep revoking all this shit just to make sure he doesn't form the HRE. God, that scares me when I think about a reformed HRE. I'm like, ugh, I'm gonna shiver down my spine. It's like, no! I have nightmares about that shit. Will you please finish up in, gor in Gores? Graz? Gores? Finish it up! You've been 42% for years! Why do I have rebels over here? I don't even know. Here, put you on hunt rebels. Just go nuts. Have a blast. Hey! Hungary's gonna take these clowns out. Good. 
No, you're not. Look at that. He's just walking right by. Like, I don't see any rebels. Do, 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 do. God damn it, Hungry. You're so derpy. Sometimes I think Hungry does this on purpose because they just they just want to fail. It's like that's their that's their point in this game is just to be Austria's punching bag and then to fail as hardcore as possible. We converted Bessarabia. Nice. Very nice. Hey. Spain has one douchebag, and it looks like he wants to run to Sock, but we've already... Oh, we need to core this shit. Why are we not coring things? I guess we are. Um, what is he doing? I'm not sure what that guy's trying to do, really. Well, whatever. Please hurry up and gores. Come on. 28%. Come on. Yes. Okay. A watch pot never boiled. A. Eh? Get rid of all your relationships. That's what I want. Yeah. It gives me a little bit of prestige. 23 prestige. Yeah. Take that. You little bastard. <laughs> uh, so people are now... Well, they're still voting for Austria. Even after that huge debacle, they're still voting for Austria. They're like, oh, it's... It's okay, man. I don't. I don't mind if you suck balls. It's all right. Hey, everybody sucks balls now and then, man. Balls don't taste that bad, man. It's okay. I, I wouldn't hate you for it, man. No, I don't hate you. It's all good, man. And I'm not gonna pick on you for sucking balls now and then. Uh, okay, so hopefully Serbia will peace out over here, so we can get this conquered and get a hundred percent in the war. Otherwise, sitting on seventy-seven is not the best. Uh, most likely, if if Serbia won't peace out Trinacria, then we're going to have to come over here and invade all of this. I really don't want to do that. Then we can peace out Spain individually, but we need to get up to 10%. We have zero right now. Apparently this counts as 0%. Yep. Where is that idiot going? Where did he go? He was going to Menominee, and then he just stopped. He just stopped. Did he delete that unit, maybe? I don't even know. Whatever. Okay, are you all healed up, Mr. Boats? Yes, you are. Okay, we'll put as many people on there as we can, and we're going to try to get you safely over here to Spain. Good luck, sir. Do we have ticking war score in our favor? We do. We're getting another 10 free points out of war score, but that won't be... Well, maybe. That might be enough to get 100% demand. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Here, split in half. Send some up there. You want access, Holstein. Okay, you can have access. You want to be my vassal? Come on, Holstein. We can be buddies. Ah. Oh. Still no vassal. What about Poland? Poland, you want to be a vassal? <gasps> Look how close Poland is. Oh, and that trust is going to go up by like another six points. Ooh. Stupid religious differences. I would love to be able to send my extra missionary over here and just dick around in here and force him to convert with missionaries. Oh, Poland. Although that 58 border friction would probably make it pretty much impossible to vassalize him peacefully anyway. It was still fun to think about it. Why well, you guys gotta ruin my fun? Alright, put the speed all the way up. I don't think we need to worry about much right now. Where's my boats? Oh, please tell me my boats get there safely. I don't know where Spain's navy is, but hopefully it's not sitting over here. Go, my pretties! Siege all of the things! Okay. Uh, 
Uh, hey, self-sustaining colony. Fantastico. Uh, you can go over to... I really have nowhere to put him because I can't see any of these colonies. I can't see any of these. I can't see shit, Captain. I wish I could see stuff. You know what? Go over here to this one. I don't even know what it is. It's called Chippewaya. Go there. It'll be fun. I promise. I don't really promise. I'm guessing. I don't really guess. I'm thinking it'll be fun. Uh, how many... What's the size of the forts here? All... Well, size 2, most of the places. Madrid is size 3. Everywhere else seems to be size... No, no, no. Most places size 2. Andalusia, size 3, size 2. So Andalusia, Madrid, and Leon are size 3. Everywhere else seems to be size 2. Okay. Oh, and Barcelona. Okay, well, let's separate out little siege teams. This will not be enough units to siege. Damn it. We must get more. We must construct additional pylons. Go. I just want to piece Spain out separately. That's all. No, the way you dismantle the HRE is you have to uh, vassalize all of the electors. Not even kidding. They cannot be independent. pretty strict. Okay, Spain will cede Aragon to France. Spain will renounce their claims on Pirineo. Spain will give Guadalupe to Portugal and Antigua to Maya. Okay. And that was just France's peace, so that means Portugal is still in this war. Interesting. Well, I'm going to keep sieging, and that's going to draw, that's going to drive a small rift between France and Portugal because separate peace deals are always frowned upon. Allies demand that you stay until the end of the war. That doesn't always mean you can, but they expect you to anyway. Out of tradition or something. Honor. Duty. Moral authority. Discount cars. Something. There's always a good reason. No, no peace for you, Serbia. If I don't have call for peace, then I'm not too worried about it. And look at this! Hungary is over here invading Manhattan. You heard it here first, folks. Hungary has invaded Manhattan. Run for your lives! Oh my god. Ah, oh, look at him. He's already building new, new units. Look at this. It's cute. Oh, inflation. Do we have inflation? Nah, it's fine. We'll take a little bit. We'll take a little bit. Look at this. He's already building new units. It's so cute. He's like, I'm going to form a new defense force. You guys are the first line of defense against... Oh my god, look how many fucking units they have. Everyone just run away. That's essentially what's going through their minds. Where's my damn transports? Hurry the hell up. Oh, there they are. They've been there forever. I'm just freaking blind. That is a problem. 
How many wars are you in, Spain? He's in three separate wars. Sucks to be you, Spain. Lol. Alright. We arrived in Grenada. Let's go kick some ass. Serbia pieced out Hungary. I don't think that's a problem. Except for the part where Hungary was invading Manhattan and no longer is. That's a problem. And it's also very disappointing. But whatever. What's our war score on you? Nine. Still can't demand anything with 9% war score. That's unfortunate. Unfortunate, but true. Right? That's how the song goes, I think. Now we do have 90% on Serbia. I mean, we can we can demand anything we want from Serbia right now. Oh, we can tech up, but that's a bad idea. You don't want to do uh, diplo tech right in the middle of a war. It's probably a terrible idea. Run to Jane. Squish. Run to Burgos. Squish everything. Have we seriously not conquered any of these? Oh, there we go. We got two of them at once. Hey, two for... Nice. Ninety-five percent. I like it. And we just finished another colony. Good. Let's move on to... Which one's better? Oh, tobacco. Hell yeah. Go tobacco. Genoa declared war on Spain. Nice. Oh, Genoa. Aren't you just this, the strong one right now? Are you a merchant republic or what are you? You're a merchant. Yeah, screw it, Genoa. I thought we could be friends, but not if you're a merchant republic. Eww. You know, if we go deep enough into Spain, we might be able to make them spit out Castile, which would be hilarious. But the weaker Spain gets, the stronger France gets, which could be very, very bad. Look at this. France already has Rousselon, Girona, Perenio, Aragon, and the Balearis. They don't need to be stronger. So that being said, let's see what kind of peace deal they'll do. Oh, they'll do those. Okay. So who will this piss off? This will piss off Spain by 21, the Iroquois by 131, and no one else will give a damn. Yay! I'll take that back. The Golden Horde will be upset by negative three. Now, if you can explain to me why the Golden Horde would give a crap about this land, I'd love to hear it, but otherwise, yay! Uh, can I have some money? I like money. Uh, Force religion, 400%. Yeah, that'll happen. Oh, I can't even make him release Castile. Interesting. Return cores to Congo. Ooh, yeah, that's actually interesting. Do that. <laughs> Lol. I have money. Give give cores to people. Uh, keep your crappy out. Look at his crappy allies. Keep those crappy allies. Great. There we go. Fantastic. Look at that. Beautiful. Swedish North America. Fantastic. And the Iroquois are kind of, you know, they're not thrilled that we did that. They're allied with France. Hmm. We might want to spend some time um, making the natives here like us because they are westernized and they are the same tech as we are. So I don't really want to go to war with them unless we have to. All right, so get get your ass home. Come to um, Erie, I guess, is a good place to start. We'll start converting. Yep. And Wyandotte as well. Sure. Great. But we are out of time for this episode today, so thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. Come back next time for the peace deal with Serbia. See you then. Have a good day.